excited today because he doesn't even know yet. But I'm about to tell him right now. I have someone from my hometown sitting in with me today from the DMV representing Maryland. Wow. A lot of people, uh, I don't know if they know that you're from Maryland, but I don't know if they know that I'm from. I always say DMV, so. I always say Maryland. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, when they start saying Baltimore and they say uh, D.C. or they say Virginia, then I'm like, okay, no, Maryland, but it's on the line for me because it's PG County. I feel like Baltimore isn't even a part of Maryland. I, I say like that. People don't understand thing. that, though. Yeah, when no, you say that, they're like, you hate Baltimore? I'm no, like, no. No, no. It's just not. It's just its own thing. It's like weird. And if I tell people I'm from Maryland, they're like, oh, Baltimore? And I'm like, no. Every time. But that's still like the one place that people know in Maryland, the only place. Yeah. But it's so weird. But to say D.C., like if people say D.C., I'm okay with that. But if I don't know why. Why is that I, so weird? I just say I'm from Maryland, and they're like, oh, Maryland, oh, cool. And then I'm like, yeah, it's a suburb of D.C., or I say it's 40 minutes from D.C., you know what I mean, to give them a little perspective on where it is, because some people just don't know. See, but then I'm like, you know, I could drive five minutes, and I'm in D.C. And You're PG right, County. that's true. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. like Mitchellville or Largo. Yeah. Like, Well, good to have you here. Logic is who is in that passenger seat riding with me. Thank you. Um, you asked, Speaking of Maryland, you got an album on the way entitled a place from Maryland. Yeah, College Park. College Park. Yeah. Tell me about this project. It takes place in 2011, and it's a day in a life with me <laughs> and my best friends, my boy Castro, who's a fellow rapper who's all over the album, actually. Um, Big Limbo, who let me stay in his basement in College Park when I was homeless and didn't have anywhere to go, wow. who I wouldn't be here today without. And then, of course, Six, my in-house producer, my guy, I stole him from, he was at the University of Maryland gonna be uh he was pre-med he was gonna be a doctor and i snatched him up and now he's a multi-platinum selling uh producer which is really cool wow and it's about uh all the shenanigans we get into in a day in the life on the way from college park to uh dc for an open mic night that i'm kind of headlining <laughs> and it's really cool did you actually headline one in 2011 out there? I did, yeah. That's why it's all based <laughs> on so much fact with the exception of like just a couple little funny things that we did as like jokes in the scenes or the skits, if you will. Uh, so, yeah, it's dope. Okay. Now, you have, you've been releasing a lot of singles. Or yeah. Or just music, period. Like, yeah, music. I've been having fun and I don't know, especially now, not to sound no way, but just that I'm off Def Jam. I just have this sense of true freedom being independent and... um it's a great, it's a great vibe. And now that I'm older too, just at, at 33 as a father and, you know, a married man, it's like my priorities and what I care about have shifted so much where in many ways music is almost like a side hustle now, especially just compared to being a father and a businessman. So now I just don't overthink anything. I used to overthink. And that doesn't mean that I'm not putting effort and time into No, it's the just art. that you got comfortable with your art. I'm just like, yeah. You're good. If I want to sing on something over here, I'm going to sing. If I'm going to rap over here, I'm going to rap. If I want to do a pop song, I'm going to do I don't give a damn. You're either going to like it or you're not. And those who like it, I'm, I'm blessed enough to, to have them as fans. And when can we get the album? The album is uh, February 24th, which I'm hype. I'm hype. That's so close, actually. Which <laughs> it is. Really is. Wild, it's yeah. not too far from now. So yeah. I saw that you did actually do a thing with Urban Outfitters, and you gave out, like, uh, the vinyl. Oh, yeah. It, it sold, sold out, out, like, immediately? Yeah, I think it was under 60 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, one minute it sold out, which wow. is such a cool thing to, to think about. Um, cause there was a day I remember when my first album came out, I was in New York city and this is back when Def Jam under shit me and <laughs> got to just say, Hey, I'm just saying. And, um, I remember kind of jokingly trying to sell my own album on the streets and nobody gave a shit cause I was just so on the come up back then. So it's crazy to think, wow, here we are and all my vinyl sold out. That's special. So if you didn't get that, then you're just shit out of luck. Yeah, I mean that specific. <laughs> I think we did a specific colorway. Yeah, green so we'll one, st yeah. yeah we'll still have more vinyl. And, okay, yeah, do a purple dope. one. I want that one. All right, <laughs> you got it. Logic is here hanging out with me, Hip Hop Nation. Um, let's get into something off the album. What do you want to get into? Um, y'all got lightsabers? They got lightsabers? Ooh. It's coming out on the twenty-second. Oh yeah, that is coming out on twenty-second. So, so I don't know when this airs. Yeah, yeah, when does no, this no, air? This is gonna air before. Well then, let's do let's do let's do high life. High Life? Let's get into High Life right now. Wait, this is the one with uh, Jay and Silent Bob? Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> Smoke a joint if you got it. Let's get into it. Nina Nine or Hip Hop Nation still here with Logic. What's up? Representing the DMV. Happy to have some family in here. 
from uh, Maryland. Yes. Now, I do want to talk to you. College Park, what does College Park mean to you? College Park is the place that when I was homeless and had nowhere to go, my best friend in the world, Lenny Big Limbo, let me come and sleep on his couch. And um, it's funny because that's when the music stuff really started to pick up. And when I say started to pick up, I just mean a little buzz in the streets. But he felt it and we all felt it. And it kind of went from like, oh, I should be looking for a job to like, <laughs> oh, but like, and then I just told him, I was like, man, if you just give me one year, bro. If you just give me one year to just do nothing but focus. And I was like, dude, I know that's a big ass. Like, this is a grown man. You don't need to be taking care of me. But I'm like, I think it could be crazy. And almost a year to the day, I signed a, a million-dollar deal with Def Jam and packed packed him and all the homies, and we moved to L.A., and that was 10 Insane. years ago. Yeah, That's dope. Yeah. I, I, the, the one thing that College Park, I really didn't go to college. My aunt works at University of Maryland in mm-hmm. College Park. So that was the only time I really would go there except for Cluck You Chicken. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't Do think you I remember? Ever, I don't think I ever had what? that. What? You never had Cluck You Wait, Chicken? Wait, was it Peruvian chicken? No, no it's like not. wings and they would have, like, they kind of, from what I, I don't want to say this and be wrong, but that was the first time I ever saw the levels of, you know, how you had to sign the waivers to eat the chicken oh, wings. Oh, word. That was the first place I went to that they had that. It's like hot ones before hot ones. But it was, we used to go all the time because it was a guy there that worked there and he looked like Pac. Like we swore Pac was working at Clunky really? Chicken. Really? Well, damn. That's, I, yeah, I gotta go. When I go That's back, crazy. I'll check that out. It's closed. The one in College Park is closed, but oh, it's, it's closed? one in like Lanham or in like a couple of places. Is it yummy? Places. I love it. It's amazing. It's a bomb? It's amazing. Greatest wings I've had. I wish it was on the West Coast. What's your favorite like food of all time? Seafood. Word? What do you Seafood. like? What's your favorite? I mean, it's Maryland. All Come of, on, crab legs. Oh, crabs, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shrimp. I don't eat a lot of it, though. Like, I, I'm not a trier. So if I haven't had mean? it, like, I don't eat sushi. Oh, I can't so, eat, like... What? No. Really? No. See, I used to be the same way. And then I was just like, you know what? Let me try it. Mm-mm. If, if it, and if now I, it's, like, my favorite. Sushi is? Oh, man. If yeah. I look at something and it just does not look appealing, I'm not eating it. I agree. I <laughs> do agree, but I don't know. It's I As I as I gotten older, I'm like, man, just try something because you'll never know. Like, I, there's so much stuff I used to just not like, like sweet potatoes. You didn't like sweet potatoes? I know. When I was a little boy, I loved them because of all the marshmallows. <laughs> and then, um, wait, how do you say marshmallow, by the way? Can you say it? Marshmallow. Okay, because my wife says it weird as hell. She says marshmallow. She also says windmill <laughs> and treadmill. Anyway, why am I shitting on my wife? What was I saying? The, the sweet potatoes. Yeah. So she makes, that's why. She makes these great sweet potatoes and I tried them. And then even like sweet potato fries. Ugh, oh, no, I hate, I hate sweet potato but fries. now I love them. I don't like sweet potato fries. I mean, I would prefer regular fries any day. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm in like a vegan spot or something. You know, I'll do that. So you've been in L.A. too long. <laughs> Not, yeah. Actually, yeah, you're right. Air well, One. Shout out Air One. Logic is here with me, Hip Hop Nation. Now, I saw a couple of features on your project. Yeah, a lot. You got a lot of dope ones. One I'm surprised to see and one I was surprised not to see. So, Seth MacFarlane? Yeah. What is this, a family guy skit? I know. He's one of the <laughs> illest um, singers of our generation, man. He sings like Frank Sinatra. A lot of people don't really realize that. Well, or... he does the voices exactly, of all of them does. that sing. Yeah, so exactly. But um, he does have his own his own, you know, catalog of music, and it's incredible. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and he's got this show called The Orville as well, which is like this kind of yeah. like a futuristic space show, and I'm mm-hmm. just a big nerd. I love sci-fi. So I watched that show, and then um, on my album before this vinyl days i did a song called the orville and i have like a fun rap line that i never in a million years thought he or anybody of them like i just didn't think they would hear it right. at all i just did it because i liked the show and he was as he put it pretty blown away and he he uh tweeted out about it and followed me i screamed wow. when i saw that he <laughs> followed me on twitter and shit i got back on social media for a little bit just to hit him back and i remember i was in his uh slid in his dms and i was like yo Thanks for the love. And he responded. And I was like, oh, my God. And I was like, yeah, if you want to get drinks sometime, you know, get a drink. <laughs> and he was like, bet. Let's do it. And I was like, what? And next thing I know, we're at Craig's in, in wow. Beverly Hills. And then, yeah, we just became homies. He's just a really genuine person. Super funny. So and are we going to see you in the, a new family guy? I hope so. Something. That'd be dope, actually. That'd be a vibe. <laughs> you could do a whole performance. So who were you surprised not to see? 
Um, see, I don't. I haven't seen the full, so uh, I don't know if I'm not if he's on it. But Joyner Lucas. Oh, you know what? It's so funny. Me and Joyner, we when is a lot. I mean, I haven't talked to him in a minute. But when we get on records, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it is because it's. <laughs> I think it's like a friendly competition kind of a thing. You know what I mean? Like on ISIS. Like well, I, he, I need y'all to keep doing that friendly competition because yeah, that is fun. insane. It is dope. It's really special when you have you know another artist out there who pushes you, and he's one of those people. He's technically one of the most skilled rappers I personally think ever. Yeah, no, like, he's he's dope. Yeah, and, he's very dope. Yeah, that, like you said, the ISIS track, like, never gets old. Yeah, that was fun, too, because, you know, we had, had, well, I wouldn't say we had a beef. I would say he, he had a beef, because I, I think beef is when two opposing uh, people uh, agree to engage in mutual conflict, and there was no conflict for me. My whole motto is peace, love, and positivity. Um, but, you know, he hit me up one day and just apologized like a man, and, uh, you know, because he was just talking shit and and i was like all right whatever and then he you know he was like hey man i'm sorry about that like a real man like yeah. a lot of people don't do that they'll know no, they're wrong they or they know whatever and, and that was, keep going yeah and it was great that you know this beef could just be ended and and yeah. you know we, yeah, we just, on. exactly so it was really really special so when he said that i was like man don't sweat it i'm just happy to uh you know that that we're connecting and then we made a crazy record so yeah. it's really special for sure. Well, I'm glad that that's over. Hopefully, I can see y'all together again because I'm telling you, that, would that was be special. Dope. That would be that would be dope for sure. Uh, like a whole album would be dope if y'all did a collab. Damn, you that'd know. be dope. But I gotta do all the beats though, because I produce. <laughs> I'll be do producer. All I gotta do all the beats. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't mind that. Yeah. It's because it's gonna come out crazy. That'd regardless. be dope, actually. Damn, that's a good idea. We need to talk about one thing. Don't let me forget. Let All me right. get my two points. All right, you got it. <laughs> and r you got the whole credit. Exactly. Hello, who's this? Oh, this is uh. <laughs> yeah, you can talk. You're gonna get cut out, but What'd yes, you, you can talk. <laughs> Marcus, it's a pleasure to meet he's, you. I'm Bobby. He's very friend. That Bobby. Okay. Okay, yeah, Bobby. Whatever. I got Bobby in the. <laughs> you know who I learned that from? Kid Cuddy. Because I used to go everywhere. I'm Logic. I'm Logic. I'm Logic. But to be fair, Logic for me was a name like Skinny or Joe or Black. It was like a nickname. But once I got in the industry, you know, and I'm kind of going, I'm like, no, I'm not. I mean, I am, but I'm like, I'm Bobby. You know what I'm saying? And so Kid Cudi, I met him. He was one of the first people to ever co-sign me, took me on tour 2013, changed my life. And he walks in the room, shakes my hand, gives me a hug and goes, hey, man, I'm Scott. And I was like, that's gangsta. I'm, gonna, that's, I'm stealing that shit. So nice to meet you. I'm Bobby. Yeah, let's go. Uh, come on. Hug it. Come on, man. You know what? <laughs> Don't knock over the camera. Have All fun right. with the edits. <laughs> yeah, you know what's going to be really funny with the edits? Me code switching. I don't know what it is. I always code switch. Like, I'll sit down for an interview and I'll be like, yes, hello there. Hi. How is it? What's up? And then you start, you just want to talk about Maryland. My inner black comes out and I'm like, yeah, I'm from Maryland. Go ahead. Y'all like no, Moco? You, <laughs> you already know what it is. Yeah, that's a thing. Well, real quick, we're going to get into some music now. Since we were talking about it, let's get into the ISIS. You want to do that? Let's do it. Let's get into it on Hip Hop Nation. Logic. Mm -hmm. Why are you whispering? What you mean? Well, now you're not. No, before I was doing my sexy voice. Oh, that's what that is? Yeah, welcome to Hip Hop Nation. Yeah, See, I yeah. told you you got to get on Family Guy. You got the voices and all I that. sound like Stewie Griffin. Stewie, it's Stewie. Brian, it's Stewie here. You don't say there, brother. Listen to me. You don't come around these parts talking to me like that. You understand? Yeah, I like. I do a little voice things. You know what I'm saying? Did you do that in front of Seth? No. No, hell no. <laughs> of course you didn't. I would, look like, I would be like a peasant compared to him. <laughs> Well, Logic is here with me, Hip Hop Nation, the album on the way, College Park. Yeah. Make sure y'all go get it. You can pre-order it right now, right? Yes, you can. You can do that, even though nobody buys out music anymore. So at least stream the shit. <laughs> stream it. Listen to it here. Stream it, download it, do whatever yeah. you got to do. Yes, we will be playing it too. For sure. But um, I do want to talk to you about The Last of Us. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're, are we talking about the show or we're talking about the game? We're, we're talking, talking about, about the both. game. We could talk about both, actually. Okay. So, well, you tell me then, since you already, you're excited. I want to hear what you... I don't okay, so no The Last of Us is the greatest video game <laughs> ever made. Is, now, that, is that a fact? It is a, a personal opinion and a fact, yes. Personal if you disagree, <laughs> I will smack anybody. I disagree. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, no, it's a, it's a really incredible game, and it, it changed my life, man. It's I don't know. It was a, I, I I like to say that it's an, it wasn't an escape. It was an enhancement. It's like I don't know, man. It, it just is such a beautiful story, and it's something really, really 
incredible. I, I beat the first game because there's a part one and a part two. Mm-hmm. And part two came out in 2018, I think. It wasn't 2020, was it? I think it was 20, whatever. Anyway, it came out and um, maybe it was 2020. Actually, it was 2020. And Sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, I played that. I played that first one over and over and over and over. And lo and behold, I was actually in the second one. Right. Yeah, which is really cool. And uh, how did you get even like, did they just see you playing it a lot? Were you on like Twitch playing it, like gassing it up or something? No, I just kind of just, I, I don't know how, but everybody I love, I somehow work with. You know what I mean? Like, it's a weird thing. And it doesn't even start as that. It starts as like, and not even work, I should say. I just befriend them. Like, you know, this guy, his name is uh, Steve Bloom, and he's holds the Guinness um, world record for most voiceover, like, jobs and gigs and stuff. And he basically introduced me to the entire voiceover community. He has the most voiceovers? Uh, you yeah. know who I thought would have had that? Mm. Uh, what's his What's his name? Mel um, Blank? No, the guy that plays... Uh, Bob on Bob's Burgers. He plays. On oh like, yeah, yeah. He does. Uh, what else is that? Archer. And, Archer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was on a, a a show back in the day called uh, Home Movies as well, which I really loved on Adult Swim. But yeah, no, he does a lot. But yeah, he just kind of introduced me to different people, and then I met Ashley Johnson, who plays Ellie on the show, and she's a phenomenal actress. And um, yeah, I met her then boyfriend Brian, and then I met Neil at the studio, the director of Last of Us, uh, the video game and the show. It was just meant to happen. Yeah, it was just weird. It was really cool, but I love it. That's what's up. Are you a real gamer gamer, or is that just like? No, I does this. That's what I do. Okay. I love it. I love video games. I man, yo, let me break it down, okay? I got Nintendo. I got PlayStation. I got Xbox. I have PC. I have PC streaming called Shadow, where basically I could just whip out my phone or my MacBook and stream from a computer, a P- high, uh, a high, like a really intense PC from Europe that, like, at the drop of a dime, will just boom. I'm on my Mac nice. anywhere with good connection, and I'm I'm playing I'm playing next gen PC games. So I love this. It's, it's That's dope. dope. That's super dope. So Thanks. what what is your what would be your second favorite game? Probably Super Mario World first Super Nintendo. Really? Yeah, it's classic. So you, are you more on your Nintendo than your box or PlayStation? Definitely not. I'm just I love I don't know. I'm just PlayStation. I just be yeah. But I'm just saying when it comes to like the epicness of a game, I would have to say Super Mario. But like the OG one, the one like where is 100 the, levels? The, the the one that was a block to put in your yep. system. <laughs> and I got those, too. I love them. I still have my Dreamcast. I, I, I never will let go of my Dreamcast because of the little memory card. Yeah. And, you know, you can play games on it. I love this. Love that. You ever play, you ever play Gamecast? <laughs> I did not play Gamecast. No, that's a joke. And I did not I'm play just... GameCube. I was about to say, I don't no, know what that Gamecast, is, so I'm going to let you, you have it. You ever seen Malibu's Most Wanted? You know... What? See, don't don't. You never out. seen don't Malibu's me, Most don't Wanted? Don't put me out there. Don't hold up. Wait. Are you a movie person or not? Be honest. I'm a movie person. All right. But hold up. I'm Let's very... go through it. Have you ever seen Shawshank Redemption? Are, is this about me? Oh Wait my god. No. I Let's we get to it, girl. Up, no. I thought Have we were seen, talking about College Park. You seen Goodfellas? Aren't, aren't we talking about College Have you seen Goodfellas? Park? Of course, I've seen Goodfellas. Okay. Thank God. Mm, That's wait, my, one of my favorites. You seen Castaway? Of course. Okay. Cool. What about The Wood? What? <laughs> you just yes, said you like, hadn't seen the other. I don't know. No, okay, just I have not it. seen Malibu's Most right, Wanted. I'm, I'm set sorry, I have right not now. seen Malibu's because right. you know what? When it came out, I, I, some comedy. I just I don't know. You it seen Inception? I have. I was about to walk out. Okay. What is this? I'm just making sure you're on the level. <laughs> What's the level? The level that you you know that you you're a, you're a movie enthusiast. It's I important. Am, but I like video games too. Are you okay. online with it? Yeah, I'll play online, but but mainly online I'll play like COD, like Call of, of Duty and stuff with with my friends. But I've been so busy. Ah, I see. I knew he was gonna throw that in there because I was about to say I'll get on and whip you on that one. No, I. Re- what you play? You play Call of Duty? Yes, I do. Dude. Actually, we turned that into instead of us doing board games now for like Christmas and stuff, we mm. the family gets on and plays Call, Call of, Duty? of Duty. That's awesome. That's <laughs> really. It's funny you should say that too because my brothers. Uh, from back in Maryland, my twin, the twin brothers, um, we've like really kind of reconnected being able to just jump on the game yeah. and play. It's really, that's it's what special. I, I do that because my, of course my family is in Maryland too. So me being here, I have the box. So we play and my nieces have gotten into it. Like everybody's wow. into it. So it's the way that we communicate, you know, stay it. in touch. Yeah. We'll just like smoke and sip and play 
and shoot and die and, and respawn and, <laughs> and come back and yell at each other and just be like, you fucking suck. <laughs> yeah. Now, I do want to know, um, you posted something with Juicy J. Is this real or was this a joke? Are you really going to executive produce one of his newer projects? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's definitely I got happy. it. It's on my phone. I did a whole album. Oh, you did that. I produced the project. whole shit. That's why I said if me and Joyner are doing something, I got to produce that whole that whole thing. Shout out to Logic here hanging with me, Hip Hop Nation. The album College Park coming soon. Pre order it or get your hands on it. Well, download it, stream it. February 24th. Do. February Check it out. 24th. I think you're going to like it. All right. Well, I got to let you go. I know I've held you down too long, but thank you for riding with me. And is there anything you want to tell your fans that's listening or your future fans? Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to rock with me during this interview. And uh, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the music and thanks for being cool. That's what's up. What, what are we leaving out on? Um, let's do Wake Up. Let's go.